Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning March, March, <laughs> I wish, April 15th, 2019. This will be for Libra, someone in rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with a Libra, someone in rising. It could also apply um, if it's your Venus sign, particularly with love situations. So let's have a look at what's coming up for Libra. Someone in rising signs in this general reading for the week beginning April 15th. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Now with the Seven of Swords, for some of you, this is coming up as a strategy, thinking something out, planning something out. I do feel like there was some sort of hiccup or uh, not necessarily a massive failure, but there was a setback, there was a hiccup. You have to rethink things now. Some things need to um, be changed, adjusted, adapted, okay, with whatever this is that you're dealing with. For others of you, you may be dealing with people who don't have your best interest at heart, so just be careful with that. Um, and be careful and protect your, your work, uh, the rights to your, your work. Um, make sure no one's taking your ideas or taking credit, okay? Because the Seven of uh, Swords can show up as, you know, something to do with uh, theft, fraud, half-truths, okay? Not the best intentions. So, let's see. You have another Seven in your current situation. So, current situation, we have the Seven of Wands. So, I feel like you're fighting for something. Um, maybe you're fighting for what's yours. Maybe you're fighting for something that was taken away. You're trying to get it back. Um, I feel like you're also keeping someone at bay. Uh, like, putting your guard up. Because you're dealing with someone who was proven to be a liar, a manipulator. manipulator. <laughs> um, just dishonest person. So, you don't trust them. So, I feel like this is you putting your guard up. Um, for others of you, I feel like it's just a really uh, extremely busy time. You can stay on top of everything, but you have to be careful. You have to be um, good with managing your time, your resources. Um, kind of split the work out if you have to delegate. Use all your resources properly, okay? But it is also a card of overcoming obstacles. You may need to get creative with your options. You may need to get creative with how you overcome your obstacles. You know, uh, whether it's uh, keeping your cards close to your chest or coming up with an idea that no one's had before, trying something that's no, that no one's tried before. The challenge, we have the Knight of Swords. So you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone of rising signs. For some of you, you're putting your guard up against this person. They're really trying to... Uh, come back for some of you or they're trying to uh, not come at you but I feel like they're very a bit of a bully they look to impress people or to overwhelm people so they, they get out of their way or they do what they ask them to do okay and I feel like you see through this person's game and you're not having it okay so there may be some tension there where you're standing up for yourself you're putting up your boundaries I feel like mostly in your work but it can be with any sort of aspect of your life, really. In the foundation, we have the Knight of Wands. So this can be about job progression, job change, promotion. I feel for some of you, someone's trying to go for a promotion and they're trying to talk you out of it. Or uh, they're talking to other people trying to get you out of the running. Uh, for others of you, this is travel. I feel like you're split a lot of different ways. I feel like additional responsibilities are placed upon you during this time. It may also be on a trial run, like a trial basis, like a secondment, or would you mind filling in for your supervisor this week? Do you think you can handle it? Do you think you can handle uh, standing in for your manager? Um, that sort of thing. So it's like a trial run for some. Um, for others of you, I feel like this person that you're putting your guards up against, um, they're a player and you know it. Uh, or it's someone who you just cannot trust. They agree with you as long as it suits them or until they get what they want and then they're off on their own. So they're very, very egotistical. Um, in the past, we have the sun. So this could have been a friend or someone you considered a friend. Uh, it could even be an ex, okay, with this energy. 
But for others of you, there's definitely talks of uh, something being brought to light, something was highlighted, okay? And that's why you have your guard up here, because you have the sun in this card as well. For others of you, this is about uh, uh, this opportunity, okay, that was presented to you, that was offered to you. And maybe people around you are jealous, okay, which is not your problem. There's nothing you can do about that. And it says more about them than it does you. But there could be something along the lines of you're doing so well. People might be trying to steal your ideas or they might be trying to copy your work um, or get you to do their work for them as um, under false pretenses. Like, oh, you're doing this now? Oh, congrats. But this is your responsibility then. And because you're new to the situation, you're not quite sure and they're trying to get you to do it anyway you know say yes before you've had a chance to look into it because there's a sense of being rushed into something and you're putting your guard up okay or that's your guidance and the crowning thoughts we have the ten of cups so with the ten of cups this situation might be going on with family with siblings okay with sankar there as well um for others of you this is this is a celebration this is a a, a gathering to celebrate you uh the completion of a task the completion of a test um, with this energy. For those of you, this is the goal. This is the focus. This is what you're working towards. And for some of you, I feel like you're traveling to see a lover or a loved one or family. There may be some trouble with traveling. I feel like be mindful of uh, flooding or just bad weather. So there might be travel plan travel plans that need to be changed. Um, so just keep that in mind. Give yourself some extra time and give yourself plan B. In the outcome, we do have the Emperor. So with the Emperor, I feel like if you're trying something or if something's being presented to you on a trial basis, I feel like it gets finalized. If not by the end of the week, then going into next week. Because um, it's being made official. It's being made formal. Um, because you're doing a great job with it. So you're impressing all the right people. The Ten of Cups is also people gathering to look at you. So some, some sort of discussion about you and your performance. And it's very, very um, positive. You're, you're being looked upon very favorably. So this is a um, something being cemented, okay? So yes, okay, fine, you do get the promotion. The, this new job is yours if you want it because you can do it and you can do it well. For those of you, this whole situation could be about interviews and trying out for jobs. And maybe you're doing um, like assessment days or something like that. And this is you being successful and this is you getting the job. Um, let's see. This could also be an Aries. If this is the person from the foundation situation here with the Knight of Wands that's trying to come back into your life, I feel like they are not taking no for an answer. You're putting your guard up when they're coming, as, coming in as a knight. They're not taking no for an answer. They may be talking to you about harmony, family, getting the family back together, getting the two of you back together. They're really not taking no for an answer. And this is them telling you, I'm here to stay. If that's the case, the emperor is very, very serious, okay? He does not take no for an answer because he know what, knows what he wants. And he just, he knows what he wants. He's convinced. He's sure. And he gets it eventually because he doesn't take no for, for an answer and because he doesn't budge, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel like this could be a father figure. If, they, if you have children with someone, they might be talking about getting the family back together. And uh, you might do that because you want to give it another chance for the sake of the children. Um, you might even be putting divorce plans on hold is what I'm getting for some of you. Don't ask me where I'm getting that from. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just telling you what comes to mind. Um, and let me just pull one more card with the Emperor here. The Nine of Swords. So something is being accepted very reluctantly. Okay, by yourself, Libra. Something is being accepted very reluctantly, uh, either because it is a lot of responsibility, so you hope you'll do well, or because you're trying to be fair to everyone in whatever the situation is, and uh, you, you're anxious because you're trying to please everyone, um, or you're reluctantly accepting someone back into your life with this energy, and you're hoping that you're doing the right thing and you're hoping for the best. Um, 
what I do want to say is if you're going to see the signs, okay, there's no reason to worry over what ifs. Just stay grounded and pay attention to what's going on. You're going to see the signs a mile away, okay? If someone has not changed, if someone's not in it for the right intentions, you're going to see the signs. So try not to worry about it. If you decide this is what you want to do, follow through, give it a proper chance, but keep your eyes peeled, okay? Uh, but there's no point in staying up at night worrying if you're doing the right thing or not, is, is basically what that is. The guidance is also whatever decision you have to make, whatever choice you have to make, whatever determination you have to make, be the emperor. So think about it, take in all angles, make the decision, and then stick to it. Don't challenge it, don't question yourself, don't um, doubt yourself, okay? Make a decision and stand by it is, is the, the guidance here, okay? And if this is something new that you're accepting, know that it was given to you, granted to you, offered to you because you've earned it, because you deserve it. So don't doubt yourself there, okay? Um, so yeah, very interested, interesting spread here. Definitely movement forward with two knights. Definitely uh, success, moving something forward, moving something along at great speed. Both these knights move very, very quickly. So I feel like if something was trial and error for a while, uh, you figured it out. You had the idea, you figured it out. And now you get to move it through quickly, okay? So let me know. Let me know how these cards apply to you if they do. Remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, any other sign you want to watch. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.